Howdy ho and welcome to Rauta's opinion video. More like pondering, I guess, this time. Now, I was actually going through different ideas when this, re, uh, this idea kind of resurfaced in my mind because I was thinking about personal taste in music and um, how people find different bands in different ages, different ways interesting. And uh, sometimes I notice that certain people with certain age, their m taste in music can vary quite a lot. It doesn't matter whether we are talking about in general, whether we narrow it down to metal music or even certain subgenre such as black metal. So um, I'll just use myself here as an example of what I'm talking about. Now, I think the origins of this pondering um, kind of came up when I was reading this, I think it was a study, maybe just a theory, a few years ago about how people pretty much have their music taste locked down by the time they turn 30, roughly so. That in essence means that the actual years when we are young, kid, maybe adolescent, uh, young adult or something like that, kind of the stuff that we listen to those times, that age and all that stuff, defines our music taste more than anything else. So it doesn't really matter how old you got, you basically go with the kind of classics, the classics that are important to you. It might be about nostalgia, it might be about certain development with your music taste and all that stuff. I really don't know. I'm not music theorist. I'm not an academic person. I'm merely saying that it was an interesting um, stuff what I read back then. And then I just kind of uh, forgot it. I mean, it resurfaces every now and then when we're talking about uh, about music and music taste with some of my friends, be they colleagues in, uh, in a way of being review guys or uh, musicians or just random music fans. doesn't really matter. The point here is most people seem to kind of uh, get stuck with those certain kind of classics, important albums and bands and music styles, uh, which were there when these people were growing, you and me, all alive. Now, some people obviously want to claim that that is not true and how music taste can um, kind of evolve through the ages. It can kind of change and widen, I guess. Um, and I like to think so. But let's be honest about it. If you really take a look at your own music taste and see how it goes, mostly this theory seems to be very true. And my point here is, or kind of a back it up rather, is that whenever I talk to different people about uh, what kind of music they're listening to, uh, what kind of new bands they have uh, started to like and all that stuff, it usually comes back to the stuff they have been listening for a very, very long time. That is, people, especially the young, uh, the elder one, the older ones in general, <clears throat> they seem to get kind of get stuck. So I'll use myself as an example because for personally, I mean, I know my personal years with certain kind of music and as such, I can pinpoint it more accurately than for some random person, guy or gal, doesn't really matter. For example, when I was um, very young, that is between six to 12, basically, a really young kid, my metal taste was pretty much defined kind of uh, hard rock bands, uh, some heavy metal bands, you know, Iron Maiden, Judas, not Judas Priest, uh, but <laughs> Iron Maiden, Wasp, um, Europe, Kiss, stuff like that. Judas Priest couldn't have, could have been there, but it wasn't. Also, um, bands like Twisted Sister, um, Metallic Crew, stuff like that, really. So it was all a kind of a blend of heavy metal style and hard rock style. And those kind of were the ones that got me into kind of a metal music. Now, later on came bands such as, you know, Metallica, Suicidal Tendency, stuff like that. And even later, so, started to emerge death metal, black metal, and, you know. And by those extreme metal styles, kind of got me deeper. Um, I was already in my late teens. So I was closer to 20 when I found black metal, for instance, rather than 10. And as such, these all these all these styles kind of uh, could be pinpointed, you know, backtracked to certain age. And uh, 
Well, this proves absolutely nothing, nothing really. Um, what I've started to notice in myself is that whenever I got a review album, I always kind of uh, like more the first wave bands or the second wave bands versus so-called third wave bands. And I'm talking about uh, black metal here. And that is, you know, basically these eras from 80s to uh, early, mid, late 90s, but definitely more about that. Now, obviously, there are a lot of bands which are, you know, newer ones, and they might have even started to play their music in, like, I don't know, 2010s. But if the style is more of this, say, second wave style, it seems to be, it's more appealing to me. And as such, I've started to feel like myself a sort of a black metal grandpa, you know? I'm not grandpa, you know? I don't have grandkids. But the point here is, I st seem to be stuck as as much as many other people like there, you know, with a certain era of music test. And it also applies to other bands. I mean, if I am into heavy metal, I, I like old school, traditional heavy metal. Whenever a new band seems to appeal to me along those fields or genres or whatever, it always seems to have this kind of a tick for old stuff. You might call it retro, you might call it a throwback thing, I don't know, really care, doesn't really matter. But whenever bands are going for newer genres, you know, be it like metalcore, be it about certain post-metal stuff and stuff like that, it's harder to get into those. I mean, I do like some post-rock, I do like some post-metal, actually quite a lot of some bands. But these seems to be rare exceptions to the rule, rather than whole new genres I'm into. And as I've gotten older, I have started to develop a taste for certain kind of uh, AOR, that is, used to be album-oriented rock, now it seems usually called adult-oriented rock, dad rock, whatever. That sometimes means those kind of, uh, not exactly progressive uh, uh, rock bands, but sometimes labeled as such. There are many labels, that is depending uh, who are you talking to or how you want to define them, sometimes called stadium rock or whatever. I'm talking bands like Journey and the like, maybe even Toto. <laughs> anyway, my point here is, those are not new bands. So whenever I feel a tick, you know, like, hey, I want to go something along with the lines like Pink Floyd or whatever, non-metallic stuff, but still kind of a rocking stuff. It seems to be rather old, but not like old in the 50s or 60s because I didn't grow up with that stuff, so I don't have a link to that. My parents really didn't listen to much of music, and when they did, they was more like Finnish Schlager kind of stuff. So I didn't get that from my parents. I, d I don't have siblings. I don't have a brother or, or sister who was into metal, so I didn't have that link either. Everything was either b found by my friends or by me, and that's it. And later on, obviously, through uh, zines and... Um, metal programs, for example, MTV's Headbangers Ball, and stuff like that. So p point here is, whenever I go for some band, you know, older or newer, usually there is a link to certain era. For example, most of the stuff I've been enjoying, you know, the new bands, I'm talking about the stuff I actually reviewed, 2020, 2019, that doesn't really matter. They all seem to be you know, the ones that really appeal to me, the ones that really get my attention and which I really like, they all seem to be more or less linked to 80s or 90s. For example, the best metal release this year so far, Yoff Iria, is old, two old uh, Rotting Christ members having a new band. And the sound, well, it's 1990s, early 1990s Greek black metal. The style is pretty much like old Rotting Christ. And I found it totally adorable, really great release. And when I was writing the review, it kind of uh, started to ignite my brain, like, hey, now I know why I like it, because it sounds like when I was getting uh, getting to know the first black metal bands, one of them being actually Rotting Crest. Now I've kind of abandoned the band a long time ago, and I don't even have fresh memories of albums such as Non Serbium. But still, now that I was listening to it, I was already kind of uh, mentally getting back to the days when I was like, I don't know, 18, 19, something like that. Early 90s anyway, 1993, 1994, roughly. 
So uh, it was kind of a taking me back, but I didn't realize when I was writing the review, only afterwards it started to kind of hit me like, hey, there's something really magical about this. And now this is not the only band. Whenever I, I'm like, okay, you gotta like this band. For example, Cryptomoc or Hexanu, among the top three bands this year I've liked. Well, they they have a strong link to 1990s uh, black metal sound. Uh, Cryptomoc, for instance, is has a lot to do with 90s Norwegian black metal. So um, that is kind of to point out that all these bands just happen to, you know, tap your brain in a good way for a reason. There is nothing coincidental as such, because we are kind of uh, wired in such a way. We are simple creatures, really. And many people seem to kind of uh, got stuck. And mind you, there's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to apologize if you just like stuff from the 80s or 70s or like 90s. For example, I was um, having a conversation about Euro dance and that kind of a Euro beat, whatever dance music. I hated my guts for that. When I was in my teenager years when that was going on. And I was into metal, so I couldn't stand that stuff. But some people, usually a little bit younger than me, find it really likable. And I started to think maybe they really like it because they were kids. So back in the days when that stuff was on radio and TV or whatever, they were kids because they were that much younger than me. And they were like, yeah, this is so great stuff. And I was like, it's so, so horrible, you know. I'm 15 or 16, whatever. I don't like that shit. Put some Metallica, put some uh, Wasp, put some Metal Crew, whatever. So my point here is once again, we have all these ties and sometimes we don't even recognize why we are tied to certain kind of music. Sometimes it might be because our parents or brothers and sisters listen to certain kind of music. It might be because our granddad was listening to some stuff. You might like some really old song just because you heard it on the radio when you were still on your diapers or maybe a little bit older, but you get the idea. So as such, I feel like I'm kind of a bound in chains in a certain way to this certain era, certain types of music. And it's not very likely that I will find these new core styles, be it metalcore or some new metal, which I did, never didn't like. And stuff like that. It's not very likely to happen that you get into the stuff that you are listening as an older person. So you're like, oh, those kids. And they're like, dude, you're listening to just some old elder stuff from the age of dinosaurs and shit. And you're like, oh, you don't, you kids don't understand anything if you don't like listening to Black Sabbath or, you know, Deep Purple and stuff like that. So whatever the age or year you are coming from, it kind of a reflects to the stuff you like. So if that makes you a grandpa kind of a person or grandma, who gives a damn? I mean, it is what it is and you really can't fight it. It's all in biology. Or at least I believe in that theory. You might feel to disagree, that's totally fine. These are, after all, just opinions and uh, pointers that we come across in life. Anyway, please let me know, what do you think? Do you have some taste which has gone later years? And are you even 30 plus? If you are, are there any new musical styles you have encountered and started to like, which you really couldn't stand before? And if so, are there links to the past? Please let me know. I want to discuss this with you. So once again, put your comments on the box below and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.